Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome back to another micro tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we are going to be covering how to draw a sprite, and import it, and what we need to do to actually compile it, because things are different. If you've ever used XNA, uh, everything's not built in anymore, you know, in the Solution Explorer, where you just dump stuff in the content folder, and then you just build it, and everything just kind of works. Unfortunately, it's not that way. It has this, the Mono Game Pipeline tool, which is actually really nice because it's cross-platform and, you know, because not everyone has Visual Studio. In fact, only Windows people have Visual Studio and soon to be Mac. Imagine that after all these years. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new project, just like last time in the last series. File, new, project, and then we want to, I'll just make a Windows project or a cross-platform desktop project. As again, doesn't matter. Um, and we're actually going to save this in a different folder. We're going to put this in the YouTube folder. And I'm going to call this Drawing a Sprite. Yes, no joke. And the resources that I used in this folder, along with the source code, actually, no. I'm not going to upload the source code for this because it's really, really small. However, uh, in the description, there is a link to a, an open. Uh, public folder. Uh, it'll either be Dropbox or Box. I'm not really sure what it'll be at the time. However, it'll have the little sprite that I drew, uh, which is actually right here. I think I drew it. This, this will be uh, our little ship here. Not the greatest, but eh, you know, it, it gets the job done. All right. And let's go ahead and create this project here. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to open up game one. And I'm going to go on ahead and just start this. And it's called drawing a sprite. That's fine. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a texture 2D. And this, and we're gonna we're gonna call this uh, just we'll just call this sprite. Okay, good. We can name it sprite. Okay. So this we're gonna create a variable, and the data type is a texture 2D. And basically, we're gonna use this to store our texture. Okay. So now we actually need to import our texture. So let's go on ahead and go into the Mono Game Pipeline tool, hit open, go to documents, or wherever you happen to have this project saved. Specifically saved. Oh, uh, by default, it's in Visual Studio uh, projects if you haven't changed it. Uh, but for me, I put it in a projects folder, Mono Game, YouTube, draw on a sprite, draw on a sprite, content, and then we need the content.mgcb file. Now it opens up this, and let's just go ahead and maximize this so we have our full attention. Now I'm going to go on ahead and enable compression, because uh, otherwise it creates massive file size formats. And for the platform windows, and we can change from a reach or a high def profile. For this, I'm just it's just a 2D game. I'm just going to leave it to reach. Uh, and we'll cover more about what this does. And we're just going to leave everything here alone. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new folder. And you have to kind of remember what this stuff is, because again, remember you do not have it on the uh, the right there in the solutions part. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna call this textures, and then I'm gonna hit add. I'm gonna select it, right click, add an existing item, and I'm gonna go to the desktop, and I'm gonna import player.png. And what we can do now is we can copy the file to the directory, add a link to the file, or skip add in the file. Uh, I'm just going to copy the file to the directory rather than linking it. Linking it can be nice because what you can do is you can save everything in one folder. And then anytime you make a change, when it does its next build, it just go on ahead and just updates it. But we don't really need that. So copy the file to the directory. Okay, now we have our lovely player. And we can just leave all of this as is, really. I mean, we can we can check, we can put this as DXT compressed compressed, whatever. I'll just leave this as color. It's only a 32 by 32 PNG. I really don't feel the need to compress it. So then up here, we have this little, we have these three icons, build, rebuild, and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and build. It's also F6 and we're done. All right, cool, awesome. So we've built the project. Now what we need to do is go back into Visual Studio and down here in the load content, we need to do sprite equals content dot load texture 2D, and then we need to give our path, which as you know is textures and player. 
and pathetic hooks and textures and player. Now, just like in X and A, uh, one thing you do need to remember is that you don't actually put the file name at the end. So I'm going to go and hit F5 and just to make sure this loads, okay, seems to load just fine. And now we're going to scroll down to our draw method right down here. And we are going to draw our, oops, I'm going for a little comment here, draw our player. Okay, so we need to do a sprite back. There we go. Sprite batch dot begin. Nope, wrong sprite batch. There. Come on. There we go. I had the wrong one. Okay, and then we need to add a sprite batch dot end. Awesome. So, uh, quick note about Sprite Batch. There's a whole lot of stuff you can do with it. And we're not even going to cover hardly any of it in this tutorial. This tutorial is just about drawing something to the screen. Okay. Um, however, uh, we will be covering all that later. So, one thing to note, and we're going to cover this in another tutorial when I cover sorting. Uh, everything at the top, for example, if we have uh, player one here. Oops. Hang on. Sorry, so we're going to put our player one here. And then after that, let's say, I don't know, we have grass or something here. Uh, everything here will be drawn behind everything here. So as you go down uh, in the sorting, and you can change all this, but we're, we're just going to, it's just something to be aware of uh, if you're going to play around with drawing a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so how do we actually draw? Well, we need to do a sprite batch dot draw, and you will see by there we go. By default, it can actually take up a total of eight arguments. However, it can take th exactly three. Um, and this is the texture, the rectangle, and the color. The rectangle is, it assigns a rectangle, which we'll talk about in a later tutorial. Um, and on it, you need to give it the size that it needs to be, and then the position. The size that it needs to be is the size of the sprite which in this case is 32 by 32. So we're going to go ahead and do sprite and then new rectangle. Now, normally the best way to do this is you would do this out. Like you would, uh, you would normally put the position somewhere else or rather you would create the rectangle somewhere else, but we're not, we're not going to bother with that right now. Um, it works just fine here. Uh, so location is 50, 50. Uh, okay. Well, that works. No, no, <sighs> sorry finger is off by one and next we have the size and 32 by 32 and then we need to set the color so and it needs to be a lowercase color we want our color to be white if we set this to any other color uh we'll give it a tint like say if we were to set it color dot red we'd make it red and then we add our semicolon at the end there hang on why did that oh right yes it does need to be uh uppercase and now and white also needs. There we go. Uh, and one thing to note, if you want to set it to any color, just hit dot. There's loads of colors here, but we're just going to leave it to white because we want my beautiful sprite to, uh, you know, draw, you know, whatever. Uh, it's whatever the colors that I gave it. Okay. And now we're just going to, you know, move this over in here a little bit. And as you can see, uh, we have our really awesome. I'm actually quite proud of that, by the way. I am not very good at spriting, but I'm a little proud of that. Uh, we have our little ship, and it's right there. And there you go. That is how you draw a sprite in XNA. It's actually extremely easy, as you've noticed. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Also, if you like this tutorial series, don't forget you can totally support me on Patreon, also found in the description. I would absolutely love it if you would support me and help me uh, build this channel back up again, basically. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions for a micro tutorial series or a larger tutorial series in general, uh, just let me know. And I will uh, I'll see what I can do. And as I said, thank you guys for watching.